Well hi guys, it's Simon from SD Av Geek here. Today I'm at San Diego International Airport Terminal 2 and I'm looking forward to flying on a Boeing 757 with Delta. I'm flying from San Diego to Minneapolis. I love the 757, I'm really looking forward to this flight. So thanks so much for coming with me today. Let's go and check it out. Guys, it's definitely good to see the airport busy again. It's been three months since I started doing these travel vlogs and this is definitely the busiest I've seen it. TSA checkpoint behind me is absolutely full. It's the first time I've seen this in three months. I mean, normally you just breeze straight through. This is one of those days where you're really happy to have your TSA pre-check. Well, this is really good to see, guys. The, I'd say 80 or 90% of the bars and restaurants have reopened, along with most of the businesses, apart from a few ones that don't seem to have unfortunately weathered the storm of COVID. But, you know, busier at the airport, more things to do, more services. This is a positive step in the right direction. Well, once again, I'm flying on board Delta Airlines today. The flight number is DL1209, and I'm flying on this 18-year-old Boeing 757-300 series. Well, Delta seat 234 passengers comfortably on their Boeing 757-300 series with 24 seats in first class, 32 in the Comfort Plus cabin and 178 in the main cabin, which is where I'm sat today near the back in row 47, seat A. So I've 
believe the completion date of this aircraft was the 15th of January 2003. It was delivered to Northwest Airlines in March of that year and then of course transferred to the Delta fleet as part of the merger and she's been flying with Delta ever since. And uh, there's no plans as far as I know for Delta to um, replace their 757s just yet. This is a 757-300. Um, it's mostly used out of uh, well, mostly for uh, domestic flights in the USA, um, although it is ETOP certified, so you will see it uh, occasionally on uh, West Coast to Hawaii routes as well. Um, yeah, technically as an ETOP aircraft, it could also do transatlantic service as well. So uh, yeah, quite a busy little plane. I've heard many aviation enthusiasts describe the Boeing 757 as one of Boeing's most elegant looking planes. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I'm interested in the thoughts of my friend Scott at Sandspotter. If you haven't done so already, check out Scott's channel. He's definitely one of my favourite YouTube content creators. I love the 757, I always have. It gives me really fond memories of early flights with British Airlines like Britannia and Air 2000 and British Airways and over here in the States with Delta, United, American Airlines of course. It's just a beautiful plane. I will take this over an 8020 or a 737 any day. Taking off was an interesting experience, always is in the 757. When you sat at the back it's really bumpy. Uh, just, just doing the takeoff roll is bumpy. Um, and then when you get airborne, you get a really nice feeling of lift. It's just beautiful. It's a stunning plane. Well, we're on our way to Minneapolis St. Paul and uh, it's a little bumpy. We haven't had any cabin service just yet because of that, but uh, hey, I'm quite happy sat here looking out the window, enjoying my first flight on the 757 for a few years. So I'm a happy camper. always like the space you get on the 757 there's a good amount of leg room uh, the seats are very comfortable um, got the usual delta in-flight entertainment with uh, seat back map which i love um, and all in all just a really pleasant experience it's always a trip down memory lane for me going on a 757 I believe the first time I went on the 757 I was probably 15 years old and I flew from London Heathrow to Newcastle on the British Airways shuttle and it was to visit my best friend Richard who now lives in New York actually and uh, when I did my first travel blog on the 27th of April um, that was to actually visit Richard after the pandemic so always good memories. Well, after a flight time of 3 hours and 11 minutes, flying mainly at 38,000 feet, we landed at Minneapolis St. Paul at 5.22 p.m. local time. Well guys that was a fantastic flight with Delta on the Boeing 757, I had a lot of fun on that, brings back such great memories. Thanks so much for coming with me, as always thank you so much for checking out my video. Please feel free to like and subscribe. In the meantime take care.
your SDF key. 